So this is the chain rule. It's taking derivatives of functions that are compositions. So you can see this is a composition of two functions, f and g. And this is just in general. Let u be our inside function. So this first form looks like it's easy enough. You can see we can basically break down the differentials and put in a u in there, and that you know becomes helpful in other sections. And you can also see that if y is f of u, it's the derivative of y in terms of u, and that u is g of x, which is in terms of x, it's d of u times d of x. Our second form, it's the form I'm going to use, it's much clearer when we're doing the problem. So if we're taking the derivative of a composition, so what we get here is we're taking the derivative of the outside function, and we're going to times it by the derivative of the inside. That's g of x is your inside function. What I want us to notice is when we're taking the derivative of the outside, the inside function does not get touched. You keep it inside. So we're going to work on some examples, our first example. So this is the power rule. Okay, so the outside function is the 10th power. The inside function is x squared plus 3. So it's the derivative of the power, power rule. We keep our inside function times the derivative of the inside. So now we work it out. This is just 2x. We copy this. We're done with this. And then we simplify it. Watch your algebra. This is where you do not want to make algebra mistakes. I'm going to list out all the ones we're going to work on. If you want to try to take a stab at them yourself first. So again, it's the derivative of, of the outside times the derivative of the inside. So the outside function is secant. So the derivative of secant is secant times tan. Of the same angle, that angle does not get changed. So it's secant times tan. Again, the derivative of secant is secant times tan of the same angle. It does not get changed. And then we chain rule it times the derivative of the inside function, which is 5x to the third. So the derivative of 5x to the third, I'm going to actually put that in the front and copy the rest. So before I take the derivative of this, I do want to rewrite it. I'm going to write it as a power, not a quotient, so it's a negative power, and then I apply the power rule on the outside, this times this, subtract 1, and then the derivative of the inside. This is just 2, and then combine. And if you like, you can write it as a positive, since we started off as positive. So I do think it's less con confusing if you take the derivative of the outside, the angle stays the same, and then just write, let's take the derivative of the inside next. And so this derivative is 2x plus. So again, I can't stress it enough, that angle of sine of any of the trig functions never get changed. It's always the same angle. The next one can be very confusing. Power rule, inside does not get changed. And then the derivative of the inside. Always chain rule, do the derivative of the inside. Okay, so now we have the quotient rule to do. 
since I know this will be 5x minus 1 squared on the bottom, I think I'm going to separate this at the same time because we do need to simplify. So the chain rule is the bottom times the derivative of the top minus flip-flop. So I can see I can combine these. You add the powers. Oops, let's not change that. So I can see I combine these because they have the same base. You add the powers. And let's just simplify this algebraically. Just do it here. It's minus 8 on top times, just going sideways one last time. This is equal to Okay, I can't say this one enough. You have to rewrite this one. Otherwise, there's a great chance that you'll get it wrong, even if you think you can do it without it. Rewrite it. This is a power. Okay, so we want to keep that in mind that it's the power rule first. So that's why we're going to rewrite this like so. 2 times the inside to the 1 power, but don't get that confused with the derivative times the derivative of the inside. The derivative of the inside is the sine function. So this one, we have another chain rule. We have another inside function. So the derivative of the outside, the derivative of sine is cosine. You copy the angle, and then you take the derivative of that angle. And I copy what's in the front. Okay, one last derivative times the two. Same thing, you rewrite that power as a power so you can see it, so you don't forget the chain rule. Take the power rule, and we copy exactly what's inside the base. And then we take the derivative of what, what was inside. Chain rule, and we copy. We're done, so we can bring that power in. Times five. Last one. Okay, so yeah, I just put that derivative in the front and derivative of the outside. Angle stays the same. Derivative of the inside. Now for our second derivative, we have the product rule and the chain rule within it. The order doesn't matter. Again, this is highly recommended. And then they flip-flop. So this is outside, now it's inside. This is inside, now it's outside. And I'm going to put this one... Well, I guess I have to rewrite it anyways. Times that. So 30 times 30. Add the powers. The minus in front. Okay, that's it for today.